All right, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over degrees, radian, and something called degrees, minutes, and seconds, and how do we measure angle measurements. So um, I'm pretty much just going to go through this quickly. I, I won't really spend too much time on, um, on you know, how they come about, uh, but like what I can say is that when we're looking at a x and y axis, All angles in the x and y axis are going to be, well, most angles are going to start with zero degrees right here and go counterclockwise. All right, so we're, all, we're always going to go counterclockwise. The only time we're not going to go counterclockwise is when we're doing something called bearing. And bearing actually starts here at zero and then goes clockwise. But for almost everything else, we're going to use, we're going to go counterclockwise. This is zero degrees. If we go all the way around the circle, Okay, all the way around, and we continue to go around. We know that to be 360 degrees. So all the way around a circle, back to the x-axis here, is one revolution. Okay, so a revolution goes all the way around the circle. That's one revolution. If I went uh, halfway around the circle, that would be a half of a revolution. If I went around the circle twice, that would be two revolutions. Um, one revolution, or 360 degrees, is equal to 2 pi radians. And radians are normally in terms of pi. Um, they come from the circumference, you know, figuring out the circumference of the, the unit circle. So if we figure out the circumference of the unit circle, the unit circle, again, is a, uh, a circle with a radius of 1. The circumference of any circle is pi times the diameter. So um, the circumference of the unit circle would be the diameter, the, the radius is 1, so twice the radius. So the circumference would be 2 pi. So all the way around, the unit circle has a circumference of 2 pi, which is going to lead, lead me to something in, in a little bit, um, talking about finding the, um, the arc length. So let's go and take a look at how do we convert. Really, we just want to be able to convert from degrees to radians and revolutions. So here's what we're going to do. So if we want to go from degrees to radians, we're going to take and multiply by pi over 180. Because we know that in half of a circle, there are 180 degrees. And that's the same as pi radians. If this is 2 pi radians, half of it's pi radians. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to multiply. And if you want to go backwards on any of these, you just do the uh, reciprocal of whatever you're doing here. So um, if I'm going to multiply, I would divide. So radian to degree would be divide by pi over 180. And since this is a fraction, Sometimes you'll see in books it says multiply by 180 over pi, but that should make sense because if we're dividing by pi over 180, then we're just multiplying by the reciprocal. If we want to go from degrees to revolutions, then notice there are 360 degrees in one revolution. So degrees to revolution, we're going to divide by 360. If we want to go the other way around, how many revolutions in a degree, we are going to multiply by 360. If we wanted to go radian to revolution, then we're going to divide by 2 pi, because there are 2 pi radians in one revolution. I was going to go the other way around, revolution to radian, then I would multiply by 2 pi. So it's just, uh, we would just do the flip. So if you just want to remember these, you can just remember these right here. And then whatever you need to go the other way around, you just, you know, do the reciprocal. Okay, so let's take a look at a, um, just a quick example here. And then... Uh, We'll, you know, I'll go into the next thing. So 
Uh, let's say we want to convert 180 degrees to revolutions. Well, if I want to convert 180 degrees to revolutions, I want to know how many revolutions in 180 degrees. So I'm going to take 180 degrees and divide by 360. And I'm going to get half, so half a revolution. If I want to convert that to radian, then I could take 180 degrees and multiply it by pi over 180. And I get, oh look, those cancel out, and I get pi. Okay, so that's how we just convert. Right, if I want to take pi over 3, okay, that's in radian, and I want to convert it to degrees, or let's go revolutions first since we have revolutions here. So we're going to go pi over 3, and we're going to divide that by 2 pi. All right, so that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 2 pi. Pi's cancel out, and we get 1 sixth revolution. If I want to convert that to degrees, then I can take pi over 3 and times by 180 over pi. We really want the pi to cancel out when we're going that way. All right, we get 60 degrees. All right? If, let's say, we have revolutions. So 1 eighth revolution can be converted to 1 eighth times 360, which is 45 degrees, or 1 eighth times 2 pi, which is pi over 4. All right, so that's how we convert from degrees to revolutions to radians and back and forth and back and forth, OK? Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is um, there's something called DMS, and it stands for degrees, minutes, seconds. And it's actually just like, um, it's just like uh, uh, hours. So there's 60 minutes an hour, um, you know, 2,600 um, seconds in a minute. Uh, but, but you know what I'm going to do in this case is I'm really just going to show you how to convert, um, you know, 20 minutes, 10 seconds, and 15 uh, uh, 10 minutes and 15 seconds into its, this is called DMS right here, okay, D degrees, minutes, seconds, into its degree, which is a decimal. It's really just a decimal form of the degree, all right? And then I'll also show you how to get from 34.52 degrees to um, to its DMS version, okay? And so the way we're going to do that I'm just looking at the time real quick because um, I think our bell is going to ring here. So I'll, I'll, I'll pause it and then I'll finish this a little bit later. But um, we're going to do this in the calculator. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my TI Inspire here. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to put this in the calculator. So you're going to go to this little button here. And make sure this your, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Okay. So we're going to go to this little button here. And we're going to find this one right here. It says degrees, minutes, seconds. So we'll click on that. And then we're just going to plug in our numbers. So 20 degrees, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. Hit enter. And oh, we want to actually make sure that we are estimating here. So we get 20.17 degrees. And that's it. Um, if we want to go backwards and go from degrees to... Um, DMS, we're going to go, let's type in 34.52. We already have it in degrees because that's what the calculator knows. We're going to go to this little book here. Go to the book, and then in the book, you're going to just type in D, kind of like if you were text um, looking up something. You're going to um, type in D, and it'll go all the way down to the Ds, and scroll down till you find DMS. Here he is. Here, here he is. Um, little arrow DMS. We're going to click on that, hit enter, and then hit enter. And there it is. 34 degrees, 31 minutes, 12 seconds. Okay, and that's how you convert degrees, minutes, seconds. Let's go back to the PowerPoint, and I want to go over one last thing here. Um, so the last thing we want to talk about is when we have the... Uh, that's not what I want. Um, when we have a circle... And we want to find the arc length of a circle. I am not very good at drawing circles, guys. Sorry about that. Um, 
we want to find the arc length. So this length to this length right here, okay? All right, we have a formula for that. If we have the angle inside theta, as long as it's in radians, okay? Forgive the bell if the bell rings. I'm just going to go right through because this is my last thing here. Okay, suppose that the, the angle is in radians. Then our um, sector right here, this length, S, can be found by the formula R, which is the radius, times theta. Okay, there it is. So I'm almost done here, guys. Um, S equals R theta. So if I had an R of 10 feet and a theta of 135 degrees, what I would do here is I would first change this into radians. So I would go 135 times pi over 180, okay, which turns out to be 3 pi over 4. Then I would, I would just plug this here and plug this here. And I'd get S equals 10 times 3 pi over 4, which would give me about uh, 23.56, uh, we'll say that's feet, okay? So that's how we find the arc length. Okay, so that's about it there. Um, I'm going to put in um, here's just a couple of practice problems for you. So um, if you want to do some practice, here's some practice. Um, if you want to change 25 degrees into uh, revolutions and, um, and radians, change um, 11, 18 revolutions into radian and then into degree um, change pi over 12 to rate uh, degrees and revolutions and then um, if you have an r of 12 meters and a theta of 45 degrees what will s be so these are some practice problems i'll go and put the solutions to those practice problems on my whisk so if you're in my class, go ahead and go to the link. Uh, otherwise, thank you for joining. Um, ask me any questions that you want. Thanks. See you next time.